friends and pleasure seekers, it is I, Christina Dynamite, your uni coach, unicoach. Hmm. Back in September, I ran a workshop on prioritizing pleasure along with the lovely shaman, Nicole Chandra Schultz. And we made a list, all of us participants, of barriers we put up towards pleasure, such as time, trust, physical ability, insecurity, procrastination, culture, motivation, it's over there, brains, stress. Our outlook sometimes can hold us back from pleasure. Taboo. Mm, I like taboo pleasures. Self-worth. Limiting beliefs. Outside interference. Physical ability. Trust. There are like infinite reasons why we put up barriers to seeking pleasure. And that's got to stop. Like, why are we here otherwise? To bring meaning and joy to each other's lives, right? To bring meaning and joy to our own lives. And we're not going to do that by suffering continually without some dopamine kind of rewards and all the good other hormones, serotonin, oxytocin. Like, there's ways to get that in life. And it's up to us to pursue them. So, what are your barriers to prioritizing pleasure? I know sometimes I get too busy, time flies, right? Or I prioritize things like instant gratification, like ice cream, instead of the uh, 30 minutes of swimming, which would have brought me probably some longer lasting pleasure, but I still wanted that ice cream and I had it and it was good. haagen dulce de leche. Someone called it a microdose of ice cream. Very, very delicious. I don't regret it. Anyway, we have many reasons why we don't prioritize pleasure. So what I wanted to do was invite you to join me in thinking about a pleasure that it is you would like to pursue. Maybe it's a trip. Maybe it's getting a manicure. Maybe it's getting a massage. Maybe it's just taking a bath. Maybe it's having clean laundry and uh, just really making time for yourself to help you feel good. So you got it? You got it in your mind? Something that brings you pleasure. And think about the barriers that come up against it, right? I'd like you to imagine those barriers just all being collected into a balloon. And yeah, the more barriers you think of, the bigger the balloon gets, right? All this time, insecurity, money, uh, other people's needs, all of these, picture them in a balloon. Nice big fat balloon, all these barriers. And we're feeling like it's, it's going to be taken off into the air and it's an environmentally friendly invisible balloon. It's just going to turn into some rain clouds, right? And then shower us with nurturing. So we're going to imagine this balloon of all these obstacles just getting more and more filled and pulling up and release it. Release all these obstacles to going after this thing which brings you joy this thing that would fill your heart. It's gone. Hmm. It may just be a symbolic exercise, but in our minds, we hold all of these reasons and we can just let them go and be that much closer towards having this thing, this event, this activity, this joy, this nurturing experience, sometimes even a basic need that will bring us joy. So I encourage you to pursue this pleasure, to prioritize it, to prioritize you sometime in the next week if possible. 
sometime in the next 24 hours, if possible. Don't put it off. Do this thing. Feel this feeling. And I really wanted to take this list from the workshop and just make it go away. All of these reasons. And it's gone. Maybe I will burn this next time I could do a fire pit. Or maybe I'll recycle it so it can be become something else, right? So pleasure seekers, thank you for being present with me for this exercise. And I wish you well. Until next time. Be dynamite.